Hello and welcome back to online English class. If you need to know some business English idioms and expressions, I will teach you some business English idioms through a conversation in this video. So let's get started. Stuck in traffic, 8.30. Dawn Austin is driving on I-95 from her home in Greenwich, Connecticut to her office in Manhattan. She calls her office and talks to her executive assistant, Maria Press. Maria, good morning. Austin Advertising, Maria Press speaking. How can I help you? Joan. Hi, Maria. It's Joan. I'm stuck in traffic. Here, stuck in traffic means to be in a vehicle but not moving due to heavy traffic or accident. A truck flipping over in the other lane and is blocking traffic. I can't believe it. I leave home two hours early to beat the traffic. Here, beat the traffic means to avoid rush hour by leaving early. So let's continue. And look what happens. Are you even moving? Barely. Everyone is rubbernecking. Rubbernecking means to slow down and look at an accident. Honking her horn. Come on, people. Put a fire under it. Here, put a fire under it means to hurry up, to get moving. Okay, continue. To Maria, did Rick Mayer's call? He did. Ten minutes ago. What's the bottom line? Bottom line uh, is the message or the conclusion. You seal the deal. Seal the deal means to come to an agreement. Really? He said you hit it out of the park. Hit it out of the park means to hit a home run or to think of a great idea to succeed beyond expectation. He loves your new idea, he said. And I quote, Austin advertising really went to bat for us. Here go to bat for someone or here it says for us. It means to support a friend colleague or cause i should hope so we pulled out all the stops here pull out all the stops means to do whatever is necessary to succeed okay we pulled out all the stops to bring his campaign in under budget Bring something in under budget means to complete a project, etc. Blow the budgeted cost. What about Mario Biage? Did he call? Yes, suffice it to say. Suffice means to be enough. Yes, suffice it to say, Mr. Pizza is not a happy camper. If someone is a happy camper, it means uh, that person is not happy. We say a person who is not happy is a happy camper. 
He wants you to work up some new ideas by tomorrow. Work up something means to develop ideas, to brainstorm. By tomorrow? Great! Back to the drawing board. Go back to the drawing board means to rethink, to start over. Tell everyone we're going to have a working lunch, okay? Working lunch means working during lunch. Order lots of veggie wraps and hold the mayo on mine. Hold something. It means to not include, to leave off or to leave out. And cancel my 8 o'clock. Tell Bert how I got hung up in traffic. Ask him if we can hook up tomorrow at the same time. Dawn and dawn. Okay, so this is the end of this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like it, you can share with your friends and also you can subscribe to this YouTube channel in order to learn more English. Goodbye and have a great day. Bye.